What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you the next episode of our Pokemon Surprise Lock Challenge. If you guys have not seen the last episode, be sure to go over and check it out. It was another doozy. We got two new encounters on the team. So yeah, let's do a quick team recap, I guess, and then we'll get started. Up first we have Lucario. Then we have the Mighty Mudsdale. We have Q the Chandelure, Lapras, Pokeross, and Dino. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's move on, I suppose, is the strat. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit afraid. Um, G-Max Lapras is going to be interesting. Three turns of G-Max. And we don't have a setup mon. <sighs> the goal is Lucario to go in and to Mollywop. I hope. I hope. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. What? Come on. All right. Let's do this. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. Aha! Let me turn down my volume, my TV volume, because I want to make sure that you guys can actually hear it. Um, and I get double feedback. Lewis is coming out. Lewis, how are you doing, Lewis? Snom. Snom. Um, I could probably save some PP with this and just switch straight into uh, Chandelure and murder it with the Inferno. Is the strategy. That seems to be the best play right here. Chandelure coming in. This is the third consecutive episode that I have recorded today. We have to get some of these done, man, because I need to uh, get on this shield. I need to get on the... Uh, I need to get this game ready because uh, we have a special project coming up. Not going to talk about it, though. But I, I got to get this series underway, you know what I mean? Cool. Chandelure came in and did the dang thing, and we took out Lewis. Why are you pointing? Oh, he's, okay, he's throwing like a good job, man. Fist bumping. Let me check really quick if we have any TMs or TRs that we can teach the old Chandelure here to help us. We don't have any TRs. We don't have any TRs, do we? Not a darn one. Not one freaking. Not one. Hmm. Not one, huh? Not a single one. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Rip. We're gonna go this way. Ha! We did it. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Look at that, man. I'm pro. I'm a pro gamer. Rip. We're gonna do it. We're gonna figure it out. Ha! Ah. Let's go. I like the ice trainers. They look really cool. I like the silver gray hair. Cloister. Terrified. I'm actually terrified. Um, do I just go ahead and just use one of my Aurora Spheres on it? I think that's the strat. Aurora Sphere, here it goes. Shell Smash, go ahead. And you're done. Perfect. It's a crit! As Shady Penguin would say. Cool. Molly Wop. You know what's crazy? I'm not even paying attention to the levels. Huh, maybe we should do that. I should pay attention to the levels so I know what we're getting ourselves into. Am I going to be able to walk straight across? Oh my goodness. Should have known better. Should have known better. Oh, well, this won't work. Aha! Let's go, man. Alright. Alexander. With the bear tick coming out. Oh my goodness. What a monster. 
what a monster. 39. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, yeah, I'm like way overleveled. I'm way overleveled with Lucario. I might just sweep the whole thing with Lucario. Huh. May just sweep the whole thing with Lucario. Alright, there's that. Alright. Good on you, Alexander. Who's next? So, have you guys, in the comment section, have you guys been watching Pokemon Journey? I know we talked about it a couple days ago. Um, still the same day for me, uh, breaking the fourth wall here. Um, so, I have not seen any new episodes since we talked last. Am I just going to go this way? Is that what the strat is? That rip. Hmm. I just completely forgot this puzzle. I've only done this puzzle, like, once. Okay. Is this any different from the other one? Sugar, honey, iced tea. Sugar, honey, iced tea. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Good job. Cool. Wow. Truly only one path to go. Truly only one path to go. This is not good. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way either, I guess. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's this way. This way. Hug the wall. This way. Aha, we made it. No one here. This way. Battle. Right here? Yeah. Who was you? Alright, anyway. Pokemon Journeys, man. I don't know. The more I sit, the more I think about it, the more intriguing... It is intriguing is a word. Um, yeah, the more Avalug looks so cool, man. Oh my gosh, the freaking graphics on this game still are very interesting. I love the the models. Um, but uh, yeah, Pokemon Journeys is growing on me. It's making me a little interested to uh, see how the show progresses. But we gotta get this underway, man. I'm really interested to see what Pokemans we get from these trades. We have a couple more trades. I think we have a handful. Um, and I know that I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do... I have a lot of homework to do today, guys. I have a lot of housekeeping to do for the uh, channel. A lot of uh, projects I need to uh, get to working on after this. So... Oh my goodness! Fell again. What in the bee's knees can we can we figure out uh-huh 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 we made it just to do that we made it just to do that that's awesome good job good job cool we did it yeah okay i was about to say could we just follow the whole right way all the way up but we couldn't or just, okay, only one way and we found the fastest way, I suppose. Cool. Go ahead, get up there. I wish I could turn around and just see how big this dome is. Because, you know what's weird to me, guys? It's really weird that I think how this place is set up is in the center of it, right, is the Colosseum. That weird, big, uh, thick dome thing that you see going around the gym, I think that's where your gym challenge takes place. So like the you follow the rim until you complete the challenge. So it's not like straight in to the arena. It's like going this way. If that makes sense. If that makes sense, that's how I think it's set up. There's so many people here cheering me on. 007, the OG. Look at the freaking field here, man. I never noticed that before. Look at the graphics there. That is so cool, man. Oh, and her, she has her fingernails painted. Melanie, I see you. Frostmoth coming out first, okay. Freaking beautiful Pokemon, by the way. Not gonna lie. Freaking adorable Pokemon. I'm not gonna D-Max. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna D-Max when I D-Max against her, uh, Lapras. So this, I don't think is gonna one-shot. I don't think it is. It didn't. Icy Wind, is that going to drop my speed stat? It might. 
I don't want to. Okay, not very effective. I did drop my speed, which is no good for any of us. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hard switch into Q. Because I don't think it's gonna do anything. And if Q hits it, it's gonna die. For sure. Like facts. If Q hits it, it's gonna die. I see wind. Should it ain't gonna freeze me. I'm fire type. It ain't gonna freeze me. Didn't do that much. Q, do me a favor. Do me a favor, Q. Go ahead and just mollywop this little plant for me. Thank you. Four times effective. Your toast, McGee. Bug ice type. Literally, probably the worst typing in the entire game. There we go. But a beautiful Pokemon. Darmanitan. You know what? Let's, let's stay. I don't know what Darmanitan can really do to us. Can it do anything? Can it do anything? Darmanitan's kind of a beefy boy. I might be afraid. Taunt. Okay, it's going to taunt me first. Okay. Which I ain't worried about. If this hits, it's 50% to hit this Inferno. I need you to come through. Infer yeah, Q. Oh my god. Q, look at you, man. Look at you. Coming through, man. Coming through. Q, you're a freaking legend. I tried to do your little, oh my god. It didn't really work. Not as, uh... What does this thing do? Okay. Ice Q? Or is Q? Such a cool Pokemon, by the way. Really dig it. Inferno. Three Infernos in a row. Q, your legend. And it one-shotted. Nice. Because it wasn't a physical. It was a special attack. Cool. I believe Lapras is coming out next. Did we defeat everybody except for the Lapras? Lapras. All right. Hard switch into Lucario. And that's what we're doing. We're going to throw down. That's the overall objective. Boom. No hails up for you. You ain't going to have nothing. I didn't give you a chance to get a hail on because I one-shot everything. Lapras is coming out. All right. Lapras, how do you do? Dynamax, Max, Knuckle. That's what we're doing. Dynamax, Max, Knuckle. Dynamax Max Knuckle. Dynamax Max Knuckle. Can we do it? Lucario, I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it all by yourself. Come on. Come on, Lucario. Go ahead. Go ahead. Gigantamax that Lapras. Gigantamax that Lapras. Gigantamax that Lapras. Yeah, give it some love. Give it some love. I wish we could do... Remember uh, Generation 7? Where you could like decide how you want to throw your Pokeball out? I really wish we could do that in this gym. Because that was a, such a cool feature. Um, I had like the cocky gym challenge where like, I take the ball and throw it out one-handed. Instead of like the overhand uh, baseball toss, I guess. Max Knuckle dropping in. Boom. Oh my gosh. That did so much damage. That did so much damage, boosting that physical attack, which is actually trash for us because we're special attack. Max, guys, are hitting us with a water move. How much is this going to do? Damage for damage. Ooh, pretty good. Ain't going to... We're going to win, though. I think we're going to we're gonna take it out this next hit. Now it's going to be boosted in the rain. Max, guys, are boosting the rain. Not Swift Swim. You're not surviving this Max Knuckle, though. And I'm not even going to say plus one Max Knuckle because I'm special attacking. So, that's fine. Boom. Toast. Beach Dynamax, Melanie, go ahead and give me that gym badge. Lucario, too strong. Lucario and Q, the duo of the century. Meteor Mashing. Meteor Mashing is a little bit better than Metal Claw. Um, Meteor Mash is a lot better than Metal Claw. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Meteor Mash, yo. Cool. Even though we're freaking special. So... All right, there's that. Good on you, Lucario. Good stuff. Yeah, Lucario. Get out of here, Melanie. Give me that dinero. Goodbye. Goodbye. You, you, I know I'm pretty good. How did she get her hair like that, dude? Oh, my God. How was her hair like that? Such an original, it's just an ice cube. That's all it is. It's cool. I can dig it. Yep, everybody up to level 50 is going to listen to me now, which is amazing. Dude, actually, you know what's crazy? Just thought about this too. That, uh, 
Lucario literally puts in the most work in this region. Um, it's only going to have a problem with the uh, fire type. That's it. But, uh, you know what, though? Lucario gets, uh, what is it, Rock Slide? I think it's a rock move. If you got Rock Slide, dude, Rock Slide, Fighting type move, your Steel type move, dude. He, like, nobody in this gym would stand a chance. Lucario literally walled this entire gym with the Fighting type moves, obviously, because it's Ice type. The Dark type gym is going to get walled by Fighting type moves again. The Dragon type gym is going to be interesting. Because um, I don't have any fairy moves or anything like that. So that is going to be a bit challenging, I suppose. But uh, we're going into Uncle's. Oh, uh, that's Uncle Grandpa. Like, 110% looks... Look at that. That is Uncle Grandpa, man. That's exactly who that is. Come on. Alright, Sonya. Is there any reason to come back to this room later later on in the game? They should, do. They should have made this place like a hot spot. Like, you should be able to go eat food like you do in the uh, mall of uh, Gen 7. Alright. Cool. They were dual kings. One had a sword, one had a shield. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep. Or slumber. Okay. I absolutely, you're absolutely right. Yeah, we met Zamazenta in the slumbering worlds. We met Zamazenta in the Slumbering Weld. Fact. Absolute fact. Come on. Yep, fascinating. You're absolutely right. Alright, now we're done with there. Is there anywhere else? Okay, we have another cutscene to go. Another cutscene. We may. Huh. If you see this, you see it. If you don't, you don't. I might cut it out. Don't know. 110% that's Giovanni over there on the left looking at the uh, wolf Pokemon over there. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. I ain't battling you, though. Oh, we are battling. Are we battling? We are battling. Rip. Alright, let's do it. We're back. We're battling, I guess. We're battling Hop. I thought we, you know, I'd cut the video. Let's do it. Double coming out. Double. You went back to your roots, man. You went back to your roots with the old double lead. Cool. Yeah, you didn't even have double in the uh, last battle, huh? Hmm. You completely restructured your team, did you? Or Sphere, eat this. Boom, shakalaka. One hit, one kill. You're done. Now that's a proper move. You're absolutely right. Double got bodied. Who's next? Who's next? Mega kicking. Who's trying to learn mega kick? Mega kick. By a kick launch with muscle pack power. I don't know. Do I want to learn mega kick? Let's get rid of double kick. Why? You know what? No, we have we have. We have bulldoze. Let's get rid of bulldoze. Let's get rid of bulldoze. I'm interested. Let's let's try double kick out. Double kick does some power. Hurt by hail just a little bit. I'm a steel type. I wonder why hail hurts. Cinderace coming out. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Let's go into Mudsdale. Let's apps. I forgot. You know, his entire team got bodied by ground type. There we go. Cinderace coming out. Boom. EQ. Now, Cinderace should be faster. So Cinderace might do some work. Might do some work. Pyro Ball. For some reason, this hurts. That's such a cool move, by the way. That is such a cool move. EQ coming in. Blip. Done. Alright, down you go. Who's next? Who's next on the chopping block? Hurt by hail just a little bit. Okay, who's next? Ain't no one gonna pin Urchin. We're staying in. We're staying in. He's gonna get up the electric terrain. I believe he's... Ele no, he's not electric terrain. Interesting. Alright, pin Urchin. Uh, get, why is pin Urchin found up here? Is there any scientific fact that's like, hey, Urchins are better in cold climates? I wonder. 
I wonder. That's a uh, cool trainer Gavin question. Pallet University professor. Um, professor Gavin would probably be the person to ask about that. Snorlax coming in. Let's go ahead and what's gonna happen? When we double kick this man. Let's, let's, what's gonna happen? Boom. It's not gonna do much because it's a really weak move, I guess. That's probably why. Okay. What you gonna do? Body slam. How much is that gonna do? Not a lot. Okay. Cool. If I EQ, is he gonna kill? Definitely. Definitely. Boom. All right, Snorlax is up and out of here. Good on ya. What's next? Is that everybody? That should be everybody. Hmm. Huh. That's maybe everybody. Ugh. Corviknight. Swap Pokemon. Let's go. Let's just go into Lapras, you know? Nothing can really hurt going into Lapras. We have an answer for everything. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me your moves. Show me what you got. Unnerve. They should have gave him magic bounce just out of principle. Dropek. Let's see what's Dropek. Dropek did that. Freeze dry. Boom. Did I get the freeze? I did not get the freeze, which is fine. I'm gonna keep, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Should I sing on him? I'm gonna sing on him. Drill pack again. Okay. Ooh, that did some damage. Sing. Ooh, it connects. Does the bird go to sleep? Go to sleep, bird. Look at his eyes closed. Perfect for us. Now, I doubt he's gonna first turn wake up. Highly doubt. Yeah. Alright, he, he's out for at least one turn. For sure. Perfect. He's in range, but I think I'm in range too. I'm in crit range. So I'm going to heal. Boom. And even if he wakes up, we should be in good shape. Even if he wakes up. Wow, that didn't full heal me. That sucks. Okay. He's going to take a little bit more hail damage. Puts him in the not in the red, which is good for us, because that means how is not going to heal, I don't think. Corviknight woke up and scary face to me. Okay, look at the face, man. That was terrifying. Okay, dropping my speed, which is fine, because Lapras is slow as molasses anyway. Boom, and mollywopped. Rip to Corviknight. Cool. Good on you, Lapras. You did the dang thing. You did Q leveling up, as always. Good job, Q. Again, you did. You put in so much work in the freaking ice gym that I can never repay you. All right, we're done here. That was a quick two episodes, three episodes of the uh, ice gym stuff. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, I thought I was going to cut a lot of the video out for you guys, but I think we're going to end it off right here, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, we did a little bit of, you know, smashing some ice. So that was that, but if you guys enjoyed, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. If you want to know how I record these videos, go check out the description to my kit.co link. It is in the description, like I said, and you guys can get some cool equipment and make some videos like I do. Um, but with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.